I mean, this is the the tricky thing is like I I definitely see that this virus is absolutely a public health crisis and it needs to be taken seriously and there needs to be social distancing as they call it. Um, people need to to do their part to make sure that it spreads slowly and that that the um, that medical staff and people working in hospitals can deal with it as it happens in the best way possible. Um, and so we're seeing governments um, enact all kinds of very strict measures to make sure that happens. But it's like under that, under those strict measures, um, other things can come into play to play like you know authoritarianism martial law the expansion of the surveillance state um you know all of these things that are are terrible and we should be resisting but it's we're in a really i'm speaking for myself but we're in a really difficult position where i mean how do we resist when we're supposed to be staying you know away from each other and trying to to lower the spread of this virus you know, is that something that that you and other activists are are contending with and thinking about? Uh, yeah, because uh, of course, resistance is something important in all yeah. in all times, yeah. and that's why you know our simple way to show how irrelevant this uh, government is to do some direct actions based on our capacity. That's why you know people are you know they are you know they are praying to you know that we should get everything should be normal you know after two weeks but i i cannot say that we should you know we should ask ourselves or we should pray for it to be normalized you know because that is normal before before this covid 19 happened you know life here in archipelago is not normal because uh you know hunger is something become natural here yeah. so i don't want to, i don't want to go back on that uh, thing that they said that is natural Sure, but I think uh, we should ask ourselves that the main reason why this COVID nineteen happened or this COVID nineteen arrived is because of the situation of that recent situation, and we should ask ourselves that maybe there's something wrong in the system. There's something wrong with the government. That's why how to tell people that uh, you know our way to tell people that this government government is irrelevant we do our our, our action we uh one of my uh collective here in Pasig city he he uh he offer uh you know a free ride for those uh, health workers for those people or people who will buy food and uh you know and medicine because just like what i said uh mass uh, transportation is not uh, they stop the mass transportation and yet uh, there are some people uh, that need they need to buy food so he offered that you know that uh, that free ride but uh, I saw on my eye and I experienced that he was asked by the authority why you do, you're doing that hmm. and he and he simply responds you have the car so you can bring these people to the uh, you know to the to the market and to to, to the a drug store because they need medicine and uh, you know the author said uh, it is not our problem it is not our job our job is to stop and to obey uh, you know what the government said mm. so, and then after that action we also uh, do uh, some we give some relief goods you know to the uh, code tricycle of my of, of my friend because uh, some people appreciate the action so and uh, a lot of people want to, you know, want to send him support. And he he responds that if you will support me, uh, maybe you can uh, help my co tricycle driver too, because we are in the same situation. Since uh, last March 14, we don't have any income because mass transportation was uh, on hold. So it's a good thing that this, you know, these things happen. So we operate uh, for, uh, you know, for we give uh, relief supplies. Uh, this uh, people and then last week we uh, launched the community hand wash so those action overall is our way to say to community that uh, this government is so irrelevant okay it's not right. it's better not to expect anything from them but it's better to to start and practice the culture of sharing uh, you know the idea of solidarity a community care, self-determination, and of course, self-governance. So it's a simple way to show resistance, you know, in a creative way. And through this direct ashes, people, and, you know, the good thing is 
uh, we're just three working here during the first week even for the whole year but because of this crisis we become 10 in the meeting and uh, you know people uh, my neighborhood is starting to participate uh, on our projects so I think uh, you know that is a good result of resistance that people starting to participate in a community in a horizontal process that we're doing this so we can survive but we're doing this because we want to help our community and we're doing this that be, that because we want to ban the problem but we want to show to our to our neighbor that there's something wrong in, in the system and uh, that is not healthy so if we want to change something let's do that today and we should not wait for the government to do this for us so that's another form of resistance for us okay so the idea is that you know the normal that people want to go back to was was horrible it was horrible already and and in in the and especially in this crisis, see the government especially isn't doing really much or anything at all. In fact, doing things to make it worse for people, it seems. So really, it's up to us. It's up to the people to do something to take care of each other, and uh, you know to basically show that the state is irrelevant and doesn't do anything to actually help people. Is that basically what you're going for? That is right. Exactly. That is right. Um, okay. Get it right. And at the same time, we want to establish, uh, you know, and we want to share the idea that we should ask ourselves, you know, what is the main reason of this, uh, you know, crisis or this problem? So that is, uh, that's why I will arrive on the idea that maybe the idea of civilization is the, you know, the main roots. And, uh, you know, I learned this words from the, uh, from the ER people uh, that I met that, you know, uh, civilization for me is, you know, the imperial core, you know, that is a main source of violence, you know, why these things happen. So instead of looking for antidote, we should we should also look what are the roots of this crisis we're facing. And people should, if people ask, you start asking yourself why this is happening, I think, uh, you know, that's another form of, you know, uh, resistance in an individual level.